Hey folks, and welcome back to Wasteland 2, Early Access Beta. When we left off, we had just, uh, just finished restoring uh, all of the valves and pipe works or what have you down in the tunnels underneath High Pool. We've just come out, and if memory serves me, this is the election for the new town mayor. So we're going to come up. <laughs> Looks like Kate wins. Now, just as a reminder, obviously part of our uh, big part of what we needed to do, our main uh, reason for coming here, beyond the fact that these people needed help, is that we needed to get the repeater installed radio repeater installed uh, over by the crane. Now that power is restored, we should be able to do that. But before we leave, we're going to go and uh, talk to Kate, who should be in here, right? Yeah. All right, red scorpions have no place in this town from now on. Okay, good. Okay. Water. Keep the topsoil healthy. Okay. Let's go over here. Can we actually work on these people again, I wonder? No, I guess not. Where's the... Oh, wait. Is that person... Is that a new hurt person? It is. Hey! Let Stafford do it, then. There we go. And how about over here? Uh-huh. Failure? What? Stafford's got a pretty high surgery skill. There we go. Yeah, why don't you patch us up? Which is sort of silly, right? <laughs> he can patch us up, but uh, Stafford couldn't just use... Uh, well, I guess technically Stafford could have patched us up too, but then we have to use supplies. Uh, no, we're not going to take his supplies. We don't need them. I know what you're thinking. I have an opportunity to take medical supplies, I should. Well, let me tell you why I'm not. Check this out. So I was consolidating everything. Here's the medical supplies. We have like six anti-venom, uh, uh, 19 basic trauma kits. We've got 20 med packs. So yeah, we're, we're in good shape. And everybody has, everyone in the group also has pain relievers so they can quick patch themselves in the middle of a fight. So. We're in good shape. Let's go over here and see if uh, Harold's got anything else for sale. Oh, he does. That's interesting. Okay. Well, we definitely want his 30 out six rounds. Um, yeah, and we want his ammunition. Anything that he has. Hmm. I'm tempted to buy some armor, but yeah, I think it's yeah, it's probably best not not to do that. Uh, do we have? Well, we'll buy this, and then do we have anything to trade? Yeah, some of these. Let's see. Yeah, let's sell that. What else? Anything else we want to sell? No, I don't think so. Oh, I need to apply this. I keep forgetting to put this on uh, one of the melee weapons. I'll do that in a minute. 
this revolver. I'm not going to break it down. I'm just going to sell it. Is there anything else? Cause she's got a ridiculous amount of weight mark one. What the hell does that do? Oh, I'm going to have to check that out. Um, yeah, all right. So we're good. So we picked up some more ammo, which is always helpful. Our ammo was actually starting to get a uh, was starting to be a little bit of a concern. So I'm happy that we were able to acquire more. I'll just give it to him, and uh, then we'll give four here and five to her. Thirty out six rounds go down here. Okay, so she's got 45. She's got 75, 30 out of 6 rounds. That's a lot. Okay. Yeah, we, we are in good shape, it looks like. I mean, we don't want to start doing, like, full bursts and stuff like that with the ammo, but we're, we're in pretty good shape. Okay, now... Uh, I wonder if I can talk to the dog now and get a different kind of reaction. Hmm. I, I don't know. I'll go back and talk to that guy. That crazy guy by the mobile trailer thing. But I had a couple of interactions that, that, that went uh, kind of weird on me, wonky on me this playthrough. You know, like, for instance, I helped Vulture and she just ran off. So I... I don't know. But I think... We are done here in Highpool. Let's talk to this guy. I ain't ready to place all my hope and trust in the Rangers just yet. But I sure do thank you for helping the town with the water. Now, if you'd only finish those wreckers, we might just be ready to kiss and make up. You're taking okay. steps in the right direction, Rangers. Keep going. Yeah, as, as if I'm, like, super concerned with what he thinks. Let's open this up. Get some more loot. Okay, suit your kit. Some more ammo. Gosh, we... I don't know. We have like 125 or 26 or something like that rounds of 9mm. It's a lot. Okay. Now. Let's use the repeater here. Yep, it's coming in now. Good and strong. In one second. Ranger Team Echo, this is Ranger Command. Are you reading me? Affirmative. Ranger Echo 1, we just received the high pool relay signal. Looks like everything's hooked up correctly. We should be... The gift I want to pass on to you. The weak. The downtrodden. The persecuted and enslaved. Come to the new Citadel. Join our brotherhood. And you too will wear the armor of the Evolve. You too will be immortal, invulnerable, untouched by disease or age for all time. You will be a perfect being, ready to lead the world into a golden future of light, beauty, and... Per God's mercy is in the bullets of our guns, brothers and sisters. It is in the tips of our bayonets. It is in the dead. Damn it, Woodson. I did not want that to go out over the air. Sorry about that, Echo One. Uh, good job. You're halfway there. Please proceed to Ag Center ASAP. We're still getting SOS calls from that location. Again, deal with the emergency first. The radio tower second. Copy. Copy. Roger, Echo One. Ranger Command out. Okay. Now, um, some of that voiceover that you heard of like these different factions that are out in the waste um one i believe is um the group the religious group led by matthias and then 
there's another group that are, I guess, all synthetic beings. And I don't remember what faction that is. But they all have a, a vastly, uh, vastly different points of view than, than us. Okay. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a cut here. I'm going to go over and, and talk to um, the, uh, the guy that's looking for his soulmate and, and see what's going on with that. Um, and then I'll come back to you, all right? All right, here we are. Back and talking to Jack here. Uh, yeah, gotta lay off the squeezins. Yeah, I... Uh, yeah, I, I'm not gonna bother with that. I, I think something is bugged. And I'll, I'll go read, and if I can... If, if it's, uh, if I'm doing something wrong, or... I'm not sure. So I will double check, but if I recall, you talk to the dog and give him the note, and then you go back and talk to him, and... That's pretty much the end of it, so I'm not sure why that didn't work. And like I said, I'm going to double check on the whole Vulture cry, too, and why she didn't join the group. So those are a couple things that I need to double follow up on. But in any case, uh, let's see. Well, I, I guess I'm, you know, I'm going to go ahead and make another cut, and I'll come back to you once I've made a decision where I'm going to go in the waste, okay? So I'll be back with you in a minute. All right, folks, well, welcome back. Let's see, I'm going to go over here, I think, first. And we'll fill up our water, and then we'll go over here to the Ag Center. I think that makes the most sense. Hmm. Some raiders. Okay, let's see here. Wrecker, 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 wrecker. All right. Four of them, looks like. Okay. Uh, these melee guys are probably the biggest danger, so let's work on these guys, shall we? And then let's hurt that guy. Oh, wow. Guess I should have finished one off instead. Didn't think they'd have that many action points. Okay, now. We will move back here. And this guy? Yeah. Nice. Okay. And we will take this shot. And this shot. Okay, we'll go get in this guy's face. Okay, in turn. Let's, uh, let's see. Let's sidestep here. Alright, nice. Okay, in turn. Uh, let's see, who's next? Stafford's next. Yeah, now now Stafford's gonna eat you for lunch, buddy. Uh-huh. Okay, now everyone can get leveled up. So, okay. Let's grab the loot first. Let's give that to her. Med pack. Okay. Let's give that to her as well. Though I probably won't break it apart. Okay, did they add anything to these environments yet? 
No, doesn't look like it. Okay. Then we'll just, uh, don't really want to do their promotions. I, I guess I can call in for them. Copy, Echo One. Echo One, I'm happy to say several members. Congratulations, Echo One. We've got decent progress towards our next level, too. All right. Well, that's nice. Okay, let's go back out into the wastes. All right, let's see. What are we going to do? We're going to continue down here because we need to go fill up our water. Oh, well, nope, there we go. Let's just fill up right here. Okay, back up to 75 out of 75. See a pack of infected animals. I think this is the yeah. I think this is the first time I've seen this. Ooh, okay. Well, at least she killed somebody, even though I had lost control of her. Okay. The. <laughs> They, they should maybe reconsider that animation for these whatever they are giant rabbits it it doesn't look like they're attacking you when they run up it, it you know seriously looks like a, a you know a dog having a frisky moment on your leg seriously that's what it looks like to me all right let's move back and uh, yeah let's take out the fly nice Okay, and then let's switch. No, not reload. Oh, gosh. Swap weapons. Okay, come on, Stafford. Oh, nice. Well, we can at least get next to him. Switch. Yeah, swap weapons. Okay, let me move away. Swap. Smack this thing. Nice. It's pretty good XP for an easy fight. Now, these things don't really... Actually, that's not true. The rabbits, you can get a lucky rabbit's foot off of. Not eh, rabbit ears. Don't care about that. Uh, removes fly bite. Oh, okay. Well, actually, we do want that. Yeah. Have Stafford hold on to those. Anything else in here? No. Doesn't look like it. Let me check back here. No, okay, so they still really haven't added anything extra into these random encounter environments. That's okay. My guess is it will come eventually. Uh, let's swap back. Okay. Okay, reload. Okay. And I know I still need to assign skill points. I just, I, I want to give it some thought. And right now I just want to get to the Ag Center. All right, so let's head in. Let's go over here. Fuck you, Rangers. Yeah. Okay. What the fuck was the point showing up now? Ag Center is destroyed and the cure is lost. And I'm about to be eaten by a fucking tree. <laughs> well, doing we our job. Well have stayed home. We've gone from distressed to deceased thanks to you slowpoke assholes. Everybody's dead. Matt, Rose, all of them. And I'm next. Find the serum Rose and I made. Accenter's lost, but you might be able to save any outlying areas from infection. Okay. Okay. Uh, Rose tried to take the serum to the nutrient reservoir tanks in the East Greenhouse. 
so we could feed it to the plants. A bunch of the pod people flew it to pieces. Okay. As if the rest of it wasn't enough, the plants also. Ha! Huh, I suppose that's a good thing. Find that serum, and you won't have to worry about it. I don't know how it works. Somehow the infection. Made a big batch of it. Rose was our best researcher and my mentor. Helped me come up with a cure that stopped the plant mutations from... No! Poor bastard got hit by shrapnel from one of those exploding pods and now he's dead. Maybe if Dr. Larson hadn't disappeared, we could have saved him, but we were too... He was a godsend, is what he was. Not only was he a fine general practitioner and surgeon, he was doing great work in the field of fungal biology. He'd really expanded our areas of research. Now he's gone. We didn't see him again after the madness started. I suppose he's dead somewhere, like all the others. Not fast enough, jerks. And killer pumpkins and killer... We discovered that the plants were going insane because of some contamination in the fertilization system. Rapidly mutating fungus. And listen, this madness may have been spread beyond Ag Center. One of our researchers, a boy named Sue, fed some of our pigeons spore-infected Oh, great. Them off. Brilliant. So find the serum, save some for any distress calls you get. We use them as backup when... <laughs> An odd duck. I saw a fruit fly as big as a bald... Matt and Rose and I managed to get to safety, but the researchers and the farmers... I... We haven't seen them yet. They're... Matt built a great thing here. I... Go on, go. Fuck you. Okay, so we will tackle what's left of the Ag Center in the next episode. That Dr. Larson guy is actually the rat bastard that uh, um, had something to do with, you know, sabotaging everything. And no, he led to this happening, is my understanding. So we will uh, we will deal with him and everything else that we need to do in the Ag Center in the next episode. So I hope you like this one. And if you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up. As always, I do really appreciate your comments and feedback. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, I'm Mal, and I will see you later.